arrived at the Stadium of Lights and um, after a long trek up the stairs, I don't know how many flights there were, but needed a bit of oxygen at the top there. And then came to the back of the um, stand as well, well, one seat back. Dylan's not made the trip today, wasn't feeling too good. So we've missed out on a uh, nice looking stadium actually. Plenty to do outside the ground, um, fan zone and stuff like that. So I've come along with Debbie today. There she is. Um, what do you think the score's gonna be? To one nil to Scunny. Someone's feeling optimistic. Well, if we play anything like we did on Tuesday night against Doncaster, I'm gonna go for a six nil to Sunderland. But we can't play like that again. I hope not anyway. Please. I'm gonna go for a one all draw. Yeah, one all. Someone's not feeling optimistic. I got it right at Coventry the score then. So fingers crossed to get it right again. We've got to come away from a draw, with a draw. I think it will be difficult for definite, but you know, we can do it, why not? Why not? <laughs> Two games in a row. Pull well. Just Sunderland shot again. Just took a deflection, went out for a corner, but they're just taking the shots wherever. Just we just look so disorganised. We can't even head it out of the box. I know we're playing on a Sunday, we're going to have to play like we're playing on a Sunday league game. It's just shocking. Throws that in trouble, you're not missing anything apart from the ground. It's the football, there's nothing to watch. Lovely bit of skill there by uh, Andy Dales, but came to nothing, no one in the middle of the box, no ball, no one there apart from some on defence. A lovely bit of skill. And that's 3 0. Absolutely shocking. Shocking. Defence the midfield, everything's absolutely shocking. Just getting run ragged. Absolutely run ragged. Like I said at the beginning, could be 6-0. Still could be. So it's half time. And it is shocking. Can't put it any other way. Well, I could do, but you know, I'm keeping it clean. It's disgusting. The fans have left. Uh, my in laws have left. I've just left at half time. Um, I've never left a match early. I don't intend to leave this one early. But it is shocking. Just nothing from anybody. No desire. No passion. No fight. No closing down. We're getting closed down all the time. But. Um, it's like Tuesday night, exactly the same. I know people are going to slate me for this, but we've had three league games. And if they carry on like that, I can't see Nick Dawes lasting, lasting ten games. I really can't. So, well, we've had two and a half league games and not one Tuesday night game. And I can't see him lasting ten games. Now, tell me if I'm wrong. 
tell me if you see anything different. Because there's nothing, absolutely nothing. I think I could put the team on the pitch and just say, just run around, do what you need to do. Don't bother putting a tackle in, don't bother closing ball down. That's what I'm, I think they've been told, because it's shocking. I'll get back to you anyway, one second half, if there's anything to get back to. Okay, so we've got a free kick. About two minutes after the kick off, maybe three minutes. Oh. Straight out to a Summon player, and they're all breaking. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay, so free kick again. Further out this time on it by a line. Ah, oh, rubbish. Can't even beat the first man on them. Yeah, both. Someone's away again. They're away again. Crossfield ball every time. Holds of space. And on volley from about 25 yards out. Not far on top corner. That's someone, by the way, not us. Someone just want the ball all the time. We just don't have a clue. We don't protect it or anything. We don't protect it. Perth just put a tackle in, quality tackle, bit of fight, bit of desire. And I need the rest of them to follow suit and put that same effort in. Whoa, we've just had a shot on target. Well, 55th minute now. Well, I believe that could be the first shot on target. Okay, so they just picked the ball up near the halfway line. And James Perch has let him run all the way to the, near our box. Just, it's just unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. Well, about 20 minutes in and we've still not conceded. Okay, so we just made a substitution. And my favourite player, Matty Lund, has just gone off the pitch. I was well gutted. And oh, Joe's come on. So, it's asking a lot for him to turn this around, in all fairness. But this is on the pitch and hopefully get some minutes under his belt. Someone then three out of in the box. I don't know what we're doing. I, really, I don't think the players know what they're doing. Someone fans not happy. All that players. Scumfall fans not happy. Someone fans not happy because one of their players got caught late on. And they wanted a free kick. And then Scully fans not happy because we had the ball in their half after a corner. Their man was still down. We ended up passing it back all the way to the goalkeeper through about three different players. It's just... I don't know what the mentality is. If there is a mentality. It's just unbelievable. Joe, you know, I did a vlog yesterday, Burton Doncaster, I don't know if you've seen it or not. It's not the greatest. There was no passion in it. There was no passion in it. And in the vlog, I couldn't be bothered. Really. And this is exactly the same. I'm just not feeling anything. This is just... There's no passion from the players. No fight, and it's just like a days ago. I just you, know, you sit here and you think, why? Why? I mean, people are leaving all the time. The guy next to me wasn't happy at all. Wasn't happy. He's gone. He took his missus. He's gone. He's had enough. I think we sold over 1,200 tickets, and then all of it paid on the day. I looked at how many have left already. How did someone miss that? First, they opened that thing, put it into, and flashed it wide. Far both. Nice, no, missed it. He should have never missed that. He should have been on target. But it was a nice play by Sunderland. Broke again. It's just, just running rings round us. We're passing, pass the move, pass the move. He's played on Thursday night in the uh, Carabao Cup. So they've had two less days than us to prepare for this game. And you'd never know at all. They just looked quality all over the pitch. And again, Rovers look quality all over the pitch when we play them on Tuesday night. Someone breaking again, far side, man over. Bird is still on his feet, played well there, held him up. Got the ball away. Yeah. Umphrey's in the shot. Could have put out to wide, but he's a strike, he's gone for goal. And that sums up our day, in all fairness. Can't even beat the wall on a free kick. But, you know, someone's done a job there. They've passed it, they've moved, they've run off the ball. They've just done everything that we haven't done. And, you know, that's the full-time whistle. 
that's not been the greatest at all. Just walking out the ground and uh, somebody's left flowers out already for uh, Scunthorpe's demise. Okay, so we're uh, just walking back to the car now. Hopefully it's still there. Uh, for five minutes to digest and think. And, well, I just can't bother to say anything. I'll be honest. Wasn't the best at all. All those Scunny fans made the trip. Yeah, it's in City Big Stadium, I guess. But also to see them put the effort in and the desire. And it wasn't there again. So I've just seen my car, so I'm all right. And it's got wheels. But yeah, it's uh, embarrassing. Embarrassing against Doncaster. It's embarrassing against Sunderland. You can say, but they're a big club, they're this, they're that. But at the end of the day, they're in the same league as us. So I mean, regardless. So uh, yeah, not good at all. Just